make a quick introduction in how to play Gwent for beginners because a lot of people were asking me I didn't understand Gwent or they were saying they don't understand Gwent or anything so yeah let's do that so first of all I think I will bet 10 crowns because I'm what would you say pretty confident I'm gonna win Gwent. so um, you have certain decks as a beginner and you have to have enough cards in order to play a game actually for example here I don't have enough cards I couldn't even press the the yellow Y I could not even start I could play this deck play this deck I'm playing the northern realms at the beginning yeah you need at least 22 cards it says in order to start a game with another deck so I'm taking a northern realms deck I should really sort out my deck. I think I have way too many cards in my deck. Yeah, I could improve my deck. Okay, I have those cards. I have like 10 cards at the beginning. Me and the enemy gets 10 cards. So I'm just checking. Um, I have an ability like my leader, the one on the bottom left side below my character picture is my leader and he has an ability. He has an ability that he strengthens the attack damage of any um, siege cards like the ballista, for example. Um, for twice the amount like for example if you have six attack damage you have 12 of them that's one ability of my leader so I definitely want to have a ballista or some siege cards inside so I have two times um, this dragon hunter here and as I have two times with the symbol of the shaking hand they also double each other's attack damage this is nice okay I have one time this guy where I actually would need another guy with the handshaking symbol exactly the same card but as I don't have him I will probably redraw him you can redraw two times at the beginning. It says choose a card to redraw, zero from two. And if I don't like some cards, I can redraw. So I'm definitely redrawing this card. This is nice. This is exactly like the ability of my leader, the horn. But you can use this horn on any lane um, and it increases the attack damage multiplied with two. So then I have one spy. I can play the spy on the enemy's field. Then the enemy gets four attack damage for it, but I can draw two cards therefore. Can be good if you have frost and I have frost because frost I will explain you in a bit. So I have two weather cards. I'm probably keeping the weather cards and decoy. I'm not sure if I want to keep decoy. Decoy means that if you play cards, you can play decoy and replace the decoy with a card on your on your field and take the card back to your hand. So I don't think I need a decoy card this round. So I'm redrawing it. Here we go. So opponent stars. You have three lanes. You have three lanes here. And you see different symbols on the lanes. You have like one lane with the siege symbol. There you play all the siege cards that have the siege symbol on the card, yeah? Then you have the middle lane. There you play rain ar archers, rangers, whatever, with that ranger symbol on the card. And then you have the melee lane where you have all the melee cards with a melee sword symbol. And then you have some cards where you can decide if you want to play them ranged or melee. So, um, and you can only play those cards in those lanes. Then you have certain weather cards. For example, here you have a fog card. And fog, you can use fog only on the middle lane. Like fog is a card that you use on this lane here to weaken the enemy's attack damage to one. Unless it's a golden card with a golden symbol then they are not getting affected. So then you have a frost card. The frost card applies for the enemy's melee lane. And I could, for example, weaken this attack damage of five to one with that card. And then you also have rain. And rain um, lowers the attack damage of the siege card to one. So yeah, you have rain, fog and uh, frost like that. Some leaders also have the ability to, to use one weather effect, for example. That's basically it, yeah. So it's my turn, He's, he played a 5 attack damage card. Here on the left side you can see that he has 5, I have 0 attack damage. And you can see that he has 9 cards and I have 10 cards and it's pretty important to keep an eye on the amount of cards. It's always nice to have more cards and as I'm having a frost card and he played already a melee attack damage, I'm playing a spy. So he gets plus 4 attack damage but I get 2 more cards. And cards can be really, decis really deciding. 
Hey, Wutzi, how are you doing? Yeah, it is Gwent. Even, like, Gwent is in, in The Witcher, Wilco, and there's even an outstanding, like, alone game. A separated game from The Witcher, also called Gwent. It's a little bit different. Okay, well. Oh, he played Decoy. Oh my god, he played Decoy and took my spy. I didn't even know that's possible. Wow. Toxic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm playing... Well, if he plays that, then I can play... I'm not sure. We will see if he plays more melee cards. I think I will for now play a... Uh, I think I will play a range card. Yeah, just to see what he's playing. 200 IQ. That feel when a minigame in a game looks more interesting than Hearthstone. It's so cool. I love it so much. Well, go on. Becca also skipped it the first time she played the game. Yeah, I skipped I skipped playing Gwent. The but then I played Gwent, the separated Gwent, the, which makes no sense, but yeah. Okay, he played the Spy now. Hmm, well, he has 10 cards, I have 10 cards. Okay, well, what are we gonna do about that? I'm playing... So I have 10 and he has 5. So I could... But yeah, you have to keep in mind if you use a weather effect, it applies for the enemy's row and for your own row. So if I play Fog, it applies for the ranger's lane, for this lane on my side and on the enemy side. So you have to be, you have to think about it, right? Which cards you want to focus on. I didn't even want to, I didn't want to focus on melee cards this round. Now he put me a spy there. So I might think about playing my melee cards now too. My opponent has passed. Yeah, good job. Good job, opponent. I'm passing too because uh, he can't play anymore if he passes. And I have more points, so I won the round. Hey, Redwin, you got stuck in this yesterday. First day of playing. First day of playing The Witcher 3 yesterday. How did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's a real card game too, yeah. But... The real card game is different from the one in Witcher 3. Hi Air Force, how are you? Okay, so... Um, yeah, yeah, he played this dude again. Which has 5 attack damage, so... This time I'm focusing on rangers. Definitely on rangers. And even if he comes up with a weather card, I have one clear weather card. Okay, I thought that, so he wants to sabotage me. I hope he does not have another additional fog, but I can definitely clear weather now. And clear. And then I'm back to five attack damage. Oh yeah, I thought so. Yeah, wow. Okay, well, it's not too bad either because I kind of got all of his shitty fog cards, I guess, out of his deck. And even though if he has a lot of weather effects cards, it uh, means that he doesn't have enough attack damage cards. And I can just play my Siege ones. And I won the first round already, so it doesn't matter. I won't be able to play my cool cards. The two the two same same cards here, which would increase each other attack damage to 20, you know. Because they are the same with the handshaking symbol. If I would play both of them, they would add each other plus two times the amount. And then I would have 20 attack damage. So I can't play them because he played Fog. So we're playing Ballistas now. I hope he doesn't have rain. Okay, he's using his leader. His leader has basically the same ability that my leader has, but for the for the melee row. His leader was playing this card here, which strengthens the attack damage of the melee card multiplied with two. Um, you know, like twice the attack damage, and mine is strengthening the ballistas. Yeah, Becca der Claire wäre genau bei Vini abgeschaut hier, ne? The standalone version on Geo GOG started out quite similar to this version, but it's so it's so different, yeah. So different now. I love it, basically, the show got me into it. Me too, Redwin. Like, I was watching the show and I wanted to play Witcher again. The same. Same. Okay. So he has 10. I'm playing another Ballista. And then I will also use my leader's ability. 
Okay, so Redren, thank you for the follow. So this is a golden card, which means in case I'm using Frost, it's not affecting the golden card. Golden cards are not getting affected by weather cards. So I am using my leader's ability. And there you see my attack damage gets much higher. Okay, wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Um, I hope... Like, there are cards. When you play them, you can, you can take from your deck the other fitting cards that belong to that set. Which is a sick move, and I don't have any of these cards yet. I would love to get them, though. I would love to get the crowns, but... Um, yeah, I'm having a frost cut. I just really hope that he has no clear weather effect. Let's try that. So you see what happens with frost. I frost the first row for both of us and it reduces his attack damage. There he has the crown. See? He's playing the crowns. But yeah, my card was really good. Frost, he has apparently no clear weather effect or maybe he saves it. I'm not sure. Uh, I will now... You can probably not play that on the back row. No, you cannot, so... Yeah... I don't know, like, I have one card more than the enemy has. He has four cards, I have five cards. Whatever card I'm playing right now... It would just be additionally plus one. You know? And, um, wouldn't really help, so I could pass. I could pass now, but then he would most likely just play one card and win the round. Or I could just play my fog again and just don't worry. Joe Bear, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing? All right, after this, I'm going back to beat that guy at the tower. <laughs> okay, let's play fog. Just, you know, just because. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that too, baiting a card. That was actually pretty good for me. That was pretty good for me. I'm not gonna bother into that. I will just let him have the round. He has two cards left. I have four cards left. I have no possibility to actually hit 34. So I'm just letting him win the round. I'm just tactically letting him win the round. I mean, I have no possibility either. And there are three rounds anyway, so... Yeah. He has the monster's ability is that one card is staying. So his crown's card stayed. Wow, this, just, this shit is insane, honestly. And that's insane. But you know what? I have two times my rangers. And then I still have the horn. Clear weather effect, yeah. He has no cards anymore, guys. He has no cards anymore. And I... I'm showing you this now. 20. I don't even, you know, I could technically, I won already. I could technically use this horn and then look what happens. Then I'm on 40. It doubles it again. Yeah, so yeah, I won. Yeah, that's some basics. I hope that, I hope that helps you understand a little bit what I'm doing here and I'm also still a beginner.